Hi, as in the previous videos, we have already discussed about the data types where we observed like we have four keywords for defining the basic data types in C language that is char, int, float and double. But if you want to make some slight changes on these data types, you can also use the type modifier in order to make some small changes. For example, here we have four different type modifiers such as short, long, signed and unsigned. So if you want to take only signed values or unsigned values both, then you will go for signed. But in case you only looking for the positive numbers, means no minus sign would be there, then you can make it unsigned. Similarly, there will be a two flavors for any data type that is short or long. Obviously, the limit of long will be more than the short and obviously the size will also be more in case of long. So, as I said, like if I'll talk about integer. So, integer will occupy two or four bytes. By default in C, it is considered as the long one. So, it will take, if it is by default long, then because it is dependent on the different compilers. So, if by default is short int, then it will occupy two bytes. But if you will use long int, then it will occupy four bytes. And obviously, accordingly, the limit will also be affected. Similarly, if you want to go for it signed or unsigned, then it will again make a difference. For example, if it is a signed uh, integer, which is by default, then in that particular case, the limit will be this means the lower limit, as you can observe, is in negative, there's a minus symbol. But if you will say unsigned integer, then the limit will start from the zero, and then it will go ahead, as you can see. So, as I said, these four type modifiers can help us in modifying the basic features of a data type. So, let's see quickly, uh, practically, how these type modifiers works. So, in this program, you can see, like, I have defined a variable int i, and after that, I have used various modifiers along with it. For example, by default, when I say int i, so it will be long. So, if I want to make some changes, it will be short int, means it will be consuming two bytes, and long int, which is by default. So, you can see, like the, va the maximum value which I have stored inside it is same. Similarly, whenever you define any integer, it is signed by default. If you want, you can use the unsigned modifier along with that in order to make it unsigned. So, this is the maximum value, so if I'll execute these, and after that, after printing the values, you can see I have also printed the size of all the variables here. So, as you can see here, by default integer is consuming 4 bytes, and if I'll make it short, it will be 2 bytes. L by default an integer is long, so when I'm using long int, it will be consuming the same memory, and for sign and unsigned, the memory amount will remain same. So as here, you can see, again it's consuming 4 bytes only. And these are the values which you can store in any particular data type, which is the maximum value. If you will exceed any of that, for example, if I will say it plus uh, 1, like 68 or 48, so let's execute it again, you will notice, like it will get incremented by 1, but it will go on the left hand side of the scale, means now it will be containing the minus values, all right? For example, if I'll make it 49, then the value will be changed accordingly, all right? So as you will move on on the scale, it will start from the left to right. In the mid, you will be having some zero. But in case of unsigned, the minimum value which you can store will be zero. It will not be able to store any negative values. So this is how you can use these different modifiers along with the data types like float, double, int and character.